Ah, oh, fuck. I might look like a professional with this new ass lighting, but... Um, one, I'm blind. Two, you can really, truly see how trashy I look in real life. <laughs> what, mama? She wants to be a part of the video because, uh, get it? Pet peeves? You know, I'll see myself out. I'll, I'll go. What the fuck is good, YouTube? If you haven't seen my face before, please go watch a video where I have makeup on. I promise I don't look this fucking disgusting all the time. If you have seen my face before, <laughs> welcome back. If you're not an idiot like me, and you can read... Sorry, that's a sensitive topic. You can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be reading off pet peeves. Um... You know, I've been accumulating a list in the past few weeks because I've realized I have a lot of pet peeves, but I never truly wrote them down. So I can never like tell people my actual pet peeves. So I decided to start a list. I'm already at 20 things. It's been like two weeks. Wow. So I'm going to read like 10 of them. And if you guys want another one of these videos and you enjoy them and we have similar pet peeves, then you know what? I'm going to do it. Even if y'all don't want it, I'm going to do it. You're going you're gonna to watch like... Hello. I just felt like connecting with you guys because I missed you. Um, I've just been really stressed out and I've just really missed you guys. So I really wanted to like do this video because I feel like I'll connect with you, my little fam, a little more. So like, can you not interrupt me, please? That is very rude. Thank you. And me looking like a mess is kind of like a little more relatable. You know? And I feel like we're all just a f circle of friends talking shit. Because my friends and I totally don't do that. How about we just get started with the pet peeves, okay? That's what this video is about, so... This is in no order of importance. It's just what pops up in my head at that moment in time. Yep, here we go. People who force you to do something, then bail out the last second. Don't you just love when someone's like, oh my god, please do this with me. Like, oh my god, like, we need to do this. Like, please just fucking do porn with me. I'm kidding. I've never gotten asked that before. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about? Like, when people literally beg you, they and then you're just, like, so fucking irritating. You're just like, fine, I'll do it. Like, oh my god. And then suddenly, they're like, sorry, bro. I can't do it. Beep. What the fuck you, what do you fucking mean? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that copyright? Oh shit. Like, what do you mean, bitch? What do you mean you can't do it? Yes, you can. That was just your plan all along, is to get me sucked in just so you... <sighs> hypocrites. I don't even need to say this. This is literally my biggest pet peeve, is hypocrites. <clears throat> People who try to tell you about yourself. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean by this one? When people literally tell you like, oh, well, you're this, this, and this. Like, you're thinking like this. You do this because of this reason. Hello, I don't, I don't recall coming out of your pussy, so like, why you think that you're my mother? My mother doesn't even know me. Only I know me, so quit playing these games. I don't know what makes you think that you are privileged. Do you kind of, do you get what I'm saying? Like, why are you going to try to tell me about myself? And then this goes back to hypocrites, because when they try to tell you about yourself, and you try to tell them, then they want to get all bitter. And I'm like, oh no, no, no. You know that fucking butter, and it's like, I can't believe it's not butter. Bitch, I can't believe you're fucking bitter, because you can't be, you... I shouldn't have made this video, this is a mistake, because now my blood pressure just like went from here, and now it's like... Yeah, you can't even see it. it's out of frame. It's that bad. Speaking of privilege, white people is one of my pet peeves. These next two are gonna be so random, but like, I don't know if it's just me, but they just bother me so much. When people don't cap their toothpaste and leave toothpaste worms in the fucking sink. One, why is it so hard? Why is it so hard for you to cap your toothpaste back up? Why is that so hard to understand? Literally, all you do is bloop, and it's it's done. Like, it's done. It's not that difficult. You're just gonna make a big old mess. And speaking of mess, when you fucking squeeze out the toothpaste from the tube, 
and you just it just plops in the sink or it comes off your toothbrush and plops in the sink and you don't even have the audacity to rinse it what is wrong with you move out when you don't put the toilet paper on the toilet paper rod when you just fucking sit the new roll of toilet paper on top of the ro you were already fucking halfway there why is it so hard for you to just take it out put it on it's literally this okay it's not like this i'm i'm inappropriate i can't be doing this oh hey lila don't argue with me hello but you were you you were this close you were this close what <laughs> people who put their entire life on social media Bitch, I don't care that you just had sex with your boyfriend and it was the greatest thing. Bitch, I don't care that you just took a shit. Bitch, I don't care if you just got expelled from sucking dick in the school bathroom. Like, hello. Why do you literally put every single little thing about your life? Oh yeah, I just got Chipotle. Somebody take your phone away. Somebody take your... No. And to add on to that, these people who put everything about their lives on social media love to get pissed. You, They think you're all up in their business. Like, you put it out there for everyone to see. And you're just like, you don't know me. It's none of your business. Last time I checked, you just made my business by tweeting it, so, or posting on your Snapchat, so, yikes. That was a smooth tap, goddamn. To also add on to that, when people on Twitter, this is usually a Twitter thing, when people on Twitter use that as Google, I don't know if you ever went to kindergarten. G and T are nowhere near each other in the alphabet, so how you get Twitter and Google mixed up, I have no idea. Or like Safari, I could see that. And maybe maybe you like put the icons next to each other on your phone, but like I don't understand. Like why are you tweeting out? Hey guys, how you use butt plugs? Google. OMG, I don't know how to get this shit out. How do you not be constipated? Google. How do you do laundry? Because I'm privileged and I don't do laundry. Google. This one I know is going to hit home with all y'all. Chip bags are full of air. Chip bags are full of air. That could be made into a horror movie. Chip bag. Why the fuck are there no chips in my chip bag? Chip bag. Chip bag. I just want some Doritos, and you're over here putting like two. This is why you only trust Pringles, bitch. <laughs> oh my god. This kind of goes back to Twitter. I actually know this goes with Instagram as well. When people don't use the fucking app button, but it's right there, it's not that hard to get to. Hello, you want to indirect me? Um, hey honey, hi. I still see your tweet. So make it easier for me and just direct me. Or when you comment, this is the one that really like inspired me putting this in my pet piece. When you comment on someone's Instagram post and they respond to your comment. But you never know unless you go back on that post because they don't at you in it. Is that shady? Is that like a shady thing to do? Hi, I'm an Instagrammer. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you see that app button? Use it next time. I'll be able to see your comment. Unless you don't want me to see it, then like... <laughs> This one's controversial. Do I care? No. Trump supporters. That's all I gotta say. <sighs> yeah. I'm sorry. I love you guys. I love every single one of my subscribers. But if you are a Trump supporter, then I'm afraid that you have to leave. Like, I won't miss you. But it's not just Trump supporters. Like, they're all another species in themselves. Like, that's whatever. Like, whatever. Blech. I'm not trying to get political. But if you're a Trump supporter, and you're a person of color, a woman, or part of the LGBTQ community, or all of the above, even. What the fuck are you doing? I have no comment. I think this is gonna be number 10. <sighs> are you ever just like driving? I don't have my license, what the fuck am I talking about? But are you ever just like driving down the street and you're like, oh my god, such a nice day, ha? Huh? Like, wow, wow. Hey, look, there's a cute guy. Oh, fuck, we made eye contact. Oh, god. You're just driving, you're jamming to your music, you're like bobbing and shit like hey hey you know so you pull up behind this car and you look at their car and it's like perfectly fine and then you see like this little 
sign, like a little sticker on their window or their bumper, like it's, it's like yellow, bright yellow, and then in black bold letters, you read, baby on board. You know what the fuck I'm talking about, those baby on board signs. Why is that such a big pet peeve of mine? One, your child's not gonna be a baby forever. Like imagine, imagine you drive past that car and there's not even a baby there. Two, your baby is not gonna be with you all the time. I can assure you that. Three, nobody gives a fuck that you have a child. If you're an asshole driver, you're a fucking asshole driver and ain't nobody gonna stop you. They still gonna run you over because you're being a stupid driver. So like, don't even come at me with your baby on board bullshit. Imagine you tap their car in the back and then the police come and they're like okay what happened ma'am she's like they didn't read the sign of my car i just look at her like bitch who that's all i have to say those, those signs just piss me off like why are they necessary they're not cute even they're not even oh my god <laughs> hope you got did i do like a cool transition did that work Okay, I'll stop doing that. I might be giving you whiplash. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I was just in a ranting mood and I really want to share some pet peeves with y'all because hopefully you can relate to some. If not, then maybe I'm just an asshole. <laughs> I am an asshole. What am I talking about? I just wanted to say real quick, I've been getting email at the end of every video and I'm going to continue to try and I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support you've been giving me. And just, oh my God, your comments are literally what make my day. Like you guys are so this is what I want to do to you, if you get my gist. Oh my god, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and you can be notified whenever I post a new video. If you click that little bell, you don't have to. That'd be kind of obnoxious, but if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video, you can be the first to know and be part of the notification gang. <laughs> Why do I hate myself? If you want, why can I never talk? If you would like to see more from me on my social media, will always be linked in the down bar. I post on that stuff sometime. I, you know, whatever. Do what you want to do. You can give this video a thumbs up. You cannot. I'm literally a piece of shit. I should like make merch that says certified piece of shit on it. Like, I honestly, I honestly should. Like, I could be a fashion designer. I say with my raggedy Ann ass hair. Yep cute good job i love you guys so much i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you can relate if you have any pet peeves comment them if you want i don't know yeah <laughs> love you guys and your girl is out bye you want to close out with me you girls are out Pew. i'm so sorry i did not want to put you through that oh my god i take it back <laughs>